Hey, CJ. What's up? Hey, what's up, Jethro? Some cops are looking for you in the office, man. Tampin. All right, man, I got mm -hmm. it. Nice to see y'all kicking back. Oh. I wonder how your brother's sleeping. Curled up next to his shower daddy while you lived comfortably on the outside. What y'all want this time? Well, what we want is to get on with our jobs in peace without some damn bleeding heart liberal poking his nose into affairs he won't even understand. The press on the what the hell would you know about it, boy? Whoa, easy there, Eddie. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Some young journalist out there is trying to get a name for himself. He doesn't know how the streets work. That he's supposed to report what he's supposed to report. Yeah, anyway, we need you to shut him up for us. And that stoolie. Shut him up, too. Yeah, there's some reporter who's digging up dirt on Pulaski. We don't know who's talking, but we know the reporter's meeting him today. Take care of him. Oh, this is a nice place, Carl. Drug use, and the president is doing my head in. Burden with it. It's political debate and discussion from the right and the wrong side of the track. Let's go to the phone before we the angry gulf smile. Who's on the line? Hi, I have an eating disorder, so I like to move to the West Coast. Oh, that's Maybe you should keep your finger out of the donut. 99% of the world wake up in the rainy
exploitation of women. Some people want to be exploited, like factory workers. Others want to be degraded. I mean, really, really degraded. Like a liberal having a greater taste. God, it makes me feel so dirty. The movie's really on for my wife. Or am I say, you say, and... Yeah, it's a rat. Well, that's my fault. I feel discriminated against. Not only can I not practice my hobby in the privacy of my own garden or car, but my movies are rated as pornographic. I mean, let me ask you a question. Threesomes, right? Well, that's where our problem started. Yeah. Right? The producer. Well, right. I rent a movie with two chicks and a dude, and it's called a porno. People look at me like I'm some I sort of like creep. But it's natural. But I rent a movie with two dudes and a chick. It's all in French. Probably wins awards. Called an art house love triangle. But it's revolting. No, you're revolting. Get off the airwaves and into therapy, buddy. Oh, that's the problem with men. You're imbeciles. And yet you married me. God, don't rub it in. I did. I was desperate. That's all we have time for, luckily. This show is headed downhill. When you take the worst qualities of an elephant and a donkey, you get a lot of shit. We'll see you next time on I Say, You Say. You say you like me in that donkey's jackass. I Say You Say is heard only on WCTR. Be thankful. The news and all the other things that really matter to you, like people dying, lady on fire, Her bodies everywhere, and explosions is hanging from the tree. This accident is really cool. WCTR. Sexual realignment used to require expensive surgery, months of hormone treatments, years of therapy, and you still ended up looking like a drag queen. Now you can let the woman inside come out in the privacy and comfort of your own home. And it's as fast as this. Slice. See? Now I'm a woman, thanks to Rapidite. This do-it-yourself sexual realignment kit includes everything you need to go from Brad to Brenda in a gym. It's just snip, chop, stuff, and swallow, and away you go. Do it in the bathroom and surprise your family with a new you. Comes with an instructional video, rusty knife and tourniquet, two aspirins, and 47 pounds of estrogen. It's all you need. When it's time for a change, you want it fast. Rapidite. Do it yourself sexual realignment kit. Be exactly who you want to be. The most boring show with a brand new host. Entertaining America with Laszlo. Welcome to Entertaining America. This is Laszlo. I gotta say it, pardon me, but uh, don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. <laughs> Just unemployed. But I'm back. Running the media. Gotta love this West Coast vibe. Everybody here so laid back and lazy. I'm here with a man who gets paid to talk for a living. It's incredible. What a concept. Um, he's called a rapper. Oddlock, how are you? Oddlock, it's OT No. OT No. You hear me, Flynn? Yes, of course. I hear you. Listen, I'm a big fan. I, I love rap, I, I think. I mean, singing <laughs> songs about yourself. <laughs> it's awesome. How are you living? Straight? Really? Are you really straight? What? You gonna question me? Dude, it's cold. So I'll pass it to me. I don't ask questions. It's probably not laced anyway. So, who out there wants to talk to OG Loke? Call her. You're on Entertaining America. I love the way you rap about the people of a person. Straight? You know, the fence told us Louisiana so we would have a place to show our shit. My point is that. Yeah! We need more niggas. Bring it back! Exactly. Look, I I'm no rational. Just a I think I could really get into, you know, getting hammered and singing about setting things on fire, shooting up funerals, blah, 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 you know, striking poses, smoking a lid. Exactly. Uh, you see, the Constitution was written on reefer by dudes with wooden teeth. You see, my clothing company, low down, home of the G, says this. I love reefer. It's the rules if you're a rapper. Wow, those sound like some great rules. You know, you get a lot of flack in the media these days. And in a recent press conference, your manager came to your defense. A lot of people say gangster rap is misogyny.